All right, so really quick video today. Uh, it's over how to use the PS3 APS226 power supply uh, externally if you would want to. Uh, the only reason I was doing this was to just check voltage output and see what it was at. If I could use uh, this, these LEDs that I've got, uh, just you know, wrap them around the terminal and uh, plug it in. You know, no soldering required for that one, which is good because uh, didn't really want to solder tonight. But anyway, so. Gonna need your uh, power supply here. Turn it upside down. You're also gonna need the little box that uh, inputs the power from the wall and puts it into the power supply. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Now the next thing we're also gonna need, I'm gonna move my multimeter real quick. I'm gonna need a uh, something metal just to ground it off with. I'm just going to use the shroud that goes around the PS3. Going to use that with a uh, just an alligator clip. So clip it on right there. And then I'll just clip it on back where it goes. And so I'm just going to set this underneath the table. Well, all right. So now that we have that going, make sure the rocker switch is in the off position. And go ahead and plug that cable in. Now what we're going to need to do with the plug, we're obviously going to need to cut it in half. We are using the five prong plug here. So with the five prong plug, all you have to do is the two outside wires. One is your 3.3 .3 standby and the other is 5 volts. So, let's go ahead and strip the uh, ends off of them a little bit. And I stripped that one a little too much there and it cut through, go figure. Strip them wire them together. Now as you can see if you flip the switch now you're not hearing that click. So now that we have those wired together make sure you're not going to short out on nothing. Well here let me actually wait a second. I'll show you. Yeah, you guys can see that. So as you can see right now, we're at 0, 0.0. Flip the switch, we stay at 0, 0.0. Let's go ahead and plug our cord in. 12.11 volts. Now as you can see by where I've got my uh, test leads, the edge closest here, or the one closest to the edge is our positive and the inside one is the negative. So now, I've got some 12 volt LEDs here and it's actually, these ones are still attached to the bar. These were in a, uh, oh I still have the front to it. <laughs> a Jägermeister uh, shot cooler that was broken, had a bad compressor in it and it was like 300 bucks to replace the compressor. And so somebody in our heating and air conditioning course when I was in college decided they didn't want it. They're like, here you go. And I just found the top to it. I didn't know I still had it. <laughs> so what better use than to, uh, oops, wrong one, get these put into a PS3, my PS3, my spare PS3. Yeah. The light bar is kind of cool too, because, uh, let me switch it off real fast. Oh, wait, this one still has the, uh, backing on it. Give me one second here. 
came with quite a few. I mean, there's one, two, three bars, four bars, oh, five bars here. So let me get these separated real fast. Yeah, one, two, three, four, ooh, six bars, and then eight, including the other two. Uh, you can't really see it very well, but uh, there you kind of can. How it kind of glows through. I like it. I think it's kind of cool, but why not find some use for it and get rid of the top of it? I was a huge Jägermeister fan, so I still am. I just don't drink anymore, really. But that's it, guys. That's how you use the power supply externally to get your uh, 12 volts. Um, I highly recommend if you are going to be using this externally, uh, you can actually mount a fan on top of it. Uh, any type of, I'm not going to use this one, this is just a low flush uh, brushless fan, ball bearing powered, so um, you can use any type of fan really, any brushless fan. Go to Walmart, buy a little 8 inch fan if you want, but 12 volts, so if you wanted to, if you wanted to rig up say a PlayStation 3 fan to like the top of it or do something to pull the air away or pull air, push air into it, you could because this runs on 12 volts. So yeah, gonna go ahead and stop the video, just figured hell, I might as well figure, or I might as well do this video to add a filler video, because I'm running out of material. So yeah. Anyways, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video, uh, like the video, <laughs> and subscribe. Check out my other content, you really might find something that you like. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching, guys.